We are surrounded by advertisements on a daily basis, whether we realize it or not. From the moment we wake up and check our phones, advertisements are everywhere. They are designed to catch our attention and send a message. It's tempting to just unplug and take a walk through nature. But nature is also full of advertising. When threatened, skunks will raise their tails and spray a foul-smelling liquid at their attacker, which can fly up to six meters. The chemicals in the spray can cause irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat, so these warning stripes let everyone know to stay away. Flowers, bright colors, and sweet scents are meant to attract pollinators, such as bees and butterflies, and persuade them to visit and collect nectar. Bees have two large compound eyes that are great at seeing. They also have long, thin antennae on the top of their head used to detect smells. Flowers that have a strong, sweet fragrance indicate that the flower has nectar that the bee can use as food. If a flower can successfully persuade a bee to visit, it is able to pollinate and produce seeds for the next generation of flowers. So a field of flowers is a bunch of advertisements, too. Both songbirds and carnival barkers use vocalizations to attract attention and entice others to come closer. When songbirds sing, they're using their vocalizations to advertise their presence and attract potential mates. The songs of male birds are often louder and more elaborate than those of females, and they are often used to establish and defend a territory. So birdsong can be an invitation. Come here, there's a really great bird to check out. And birdsong can be a rejection. Get out of here, any other male birds. This might be a surprise to some of you, but advertising is often not true. And plants and animals have also found ways to falsely advertise. In hoverflies, their black and yellow stripes mimic the coloration of bees and wasps, which are known to be able to sting and defend themselves. This false advertising allows hoverflies to avoid being attacked by predators, as the predators are tricked into thinking that the hoverfly is a dangerous insect. Pitcher plants often have brightly colored markings on their pitchers that are visible to insects, which are drawn closer by the sweet smells emanating from the plant. Once the insect lands on the pitcher, it may slip and fall into the plant's digestive fluids, where it is digested and absorbed by the plant. This false advertising has fatal consequences. So while nature seems like the perfect escape from the bombardment of advertising, nature is just as full of persuasive messages as Times Square. At least nature's advertisements look and sound a little more pleasant. And now a small advertisement. You can support this channel on Patreon or by clicking the Join button on YouTube. If you don't have the money right now, subscribing is free and keeps increasing your knowledge. Thanks for stopping by to learn what makes life awesome.